Hello and welcome to Raxon in about three minutes. It is a game for one to four players. It has a solo mode. Playing time is around about one hour. It is a relatively simple game. The reports of a massive disease outbreak are grossly exaggerated, according to the Raxon Pharmaceuticals PR team that is. And all this talk of The Walking Dead is just fake news. You're not so sure, and you're pretty certain that Old Man Withers was a lot more bitey than normal last time you saw him. You and your team play influential figures trying to evacuate the uninfected from the disaster area. In order to win the game, you must find all 30 survivors, and you must do it before the infected overrun you, or Raxon interference gets too much to handle. Cooperative, players work together to find the survivors in the crowd. Push your luck. Actions have consequences, and the more actions you take, the harder they are to deal with. Tile placement. The crowd are represented as tiles on the board that you must manipulate to win. Player turn. First of all, the crowd is refreshed and all cards start face down. Each player acts once and in play moves to the next player. You can keep acting until you pass or something happens in the crowd that forces play to stop. Common actions include Investigate to flip a card. Some cards have triggers when they flip based on the number of matching cards face up. Evacuation actions move face-up survivors to the evacuation area. Airstrikes send cards to the dead pile. Crowd control rearranges cards in the crowd. Quarantine moves infected to the contained quarantine area. Each character has a unique action as well as variations of the actions above. The most important game system Raxon has is consequences. For example, once this character uses an airstrike, they must add a new face-down person before their next turn and every turn after that. That might seem manageable, but if you're adding a lot of people to the crowd, flipping them and triggering Raxon cards before you act each turn, it can get out of hand very quickly. Once your turn is over, you add more infected to the draw pile based on how many are in the uncontained quarantine or in the crowd still. Then, contained infected move to the uncontained area and the dead pool is shuffled back into the draw pile. Why would you like this game? It's a puzzle game, but it's quite an interesting one. It has a lot of mechanics that work with the theme while mechanically feeling like a low luck abstract game. It also adds to the world of Dead of Winter and it's a nice companion game to that. Uh, many games deal with the zombie apocalypse but this is one of the few that deals with the day one situation. The single best thing about the game is the consequences system. Knowing when to take an action and when to call a round over adds an awful lot of tension to the game. However, it is a puzzle game first and foremost. There is some flavour in the Raxon cards, but they are a very secondary system for the game. It can also be quite frustrating as the ratio of survivors to infected gets very high towards the end game, and finding the final few survivors can be very, very tough. If you're curious about what happens to your survivors after you save them, I recommend Dead of Winter The Long Night. Raxon even comes with two characters for that game. And if you like the puzzle aspect of this game, I recommend Bethel Woods.